Hi, I'm Asha from Skate Fresh and welcome to Perth. Isn't this the most amazing view? It's just fabulous, sunset time. So this is a Q&A direct from Perth and you have a question, what's your name? I do, I'm Christy. Hi Christy, and what is your question? So my question is, how can I keep skating without dealing with the foot pain that I'm having? Ah, foot pain, we have all kinds of foot pain. Right, I'm a bit of an expert on foot pain and I'm a bit obsessive about foot pain. Perfect. So um, where is your foot pain, show me. So my foot pain is in the inside. Yes. On the inside, and is it on both feet? Yes. Okay. It started on one, now it's on both. And has it been only on this set of boots, or have you had? Have you only had this set of boots? No, it, it transfers to all of the boots. Ah, interesting. Right, so that's always a good thing to ask yourself, right? So you've had it on previous other boots before. Okay. So because her pain is on the inside and it's on both feet, I'm, you know, the first thing I tend to suspect is that it might be our technique. Okay, usually people um, blame the equipment first. And I say, let's start with the technique first and then see, okay? So um, I just need to watch you skate for like a few strides. So maybe, um, can you just skate your normal, normal way you skate towards that group of people, stop at the end, turn around, come back. Okay, so let's just have a look at Christy's skating. So you can come with us. So I'm looking to see if she's pronating. Right, and skate back again, Christy. And what I can see is she's got quite good edges. Yeah, interesting. Okay, thanks, Christy. Okay, come back. So, I wasn't expecting her to skate so well. I wasn't expecting her, wasn't expecting her to have pretty much a center or an outside edge, which is kind of what we want. Um, are your, um, is your pain happening right now? No. Not ah. Right now. So when does it happen? So I like to skate distance. Okay. So I'm probably after maybe 75 minutes, so like maybe at the 25k mark. Okay. Then it starts to hurt, and then when I take my skates off, and for like maybe a little bit of time afterwards, it feels bruised. Okay, so yeah. this is very interesting. So she doesn't have the pain now, and she's skating on center and outside edges, but she does get the pain after a whole bunch of miles <laughs> and a whole bunch of time. Yeah. So what that probably indicates, in my opinion, Right, we've got uh, traffic coming, but let's just see if they notice and give us our space. Um, what I suspect is happening is that as you get tired, and this is normal, everybody, as we get tired when we skate, our center edge can become a little tiny mini pronation as we're skating and gliding. And, you know, because your pain is on the insides, pronation was the first thing I thought of. And the fact that you get your pain after, and did you, have, did you get pain before you started skating long distances? No, I've never had this pain from any other right. activity at all. Okay, yeah. so the pain is actually caused by something changing in your technique as you skate longer distances. Do you are you aware of of either feeling a pronation? You know what a pronation is, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, slight inside edge. Yeah, yeah, Do you are you aware of possibly beginning to pronate um, at the end of a longer skate? Yeah, I think definitely. Um, like if the wind changes or if I go uphill, I, yeah. I notice, yeah, definitely okay. it's starting so to roll in. There's a real, um, in marathon skaters, everyone says, you know, the last 8Ks are really pretty shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of our technique just falls yeah. apart, right? Yeah, and that, I think, is most probably the cause of your pain, right? So the fix, right? I think we've identified what it might be. The fix is um, I would possibly cap your distances to just before you get the pains right and then I actually want you to skate with a lower knee bend so you build your leg muscles so that they're strong enough even when you're tired to not pronate right so firstly you've got to just not skate so far yeah and maybe I know but think yeah, yeah. about um, think about quality rather than quantity Absolutely. And right longevity exactly exactly because if you're in pain you're not going to enjoy skating anyway no, no, no. okay Absolutely, yeah. so I think really focus on your technique more knee bend throughout those first you know the first three quarters before you stop yeah and that is such a good question it's a really good question because so many people suffer from this problem pain in their skates usually caused by pronation the other way you could do to check it is when you next go on your long skate, right? When it starts to hurt, get somebody to film you from behind. Yeah, yeah? you could send me that video and we'll, we'll, we could analyze it and have another look. But let's have a look if after 28 Ks, you are pronating a bit. Yeah. But then, I would almost bet my life that that is the cause. Yeah, and okay? I think I was gonna say, when, can, when and how can I build up? But it sounds like if I skate 
less distance, I can skate more frequently, exactly. which essentially, yeah, and then I can go longer. Exactly. Perfect. And work on the technique. And by technique, I also mean work on your muscle strength by, you know, training exercises like scooting, yeah, training exercises like slow motion skating. With exercises like that, are they in your fitness? They are. So if you want to look at these kind of exercises, go to my website, skatefresh.com, and then go to uh, inline sorry, online tradings, yeah, in lines, and how to skate for fitness, intermediate level. Perfect. Okay, Amazing. so on in there there's 12 different exercises. They will train your skating and your technique actually better than skating 30Ks. Yeah, 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 perfect, okay? so helpful. So that's where to go. Great question though, thank you so much, and good luck. I hope to be back in Perth in a year or so, and let's hope that your foot pain is God. a thing of the past Absolutely. by then. Thank awesome. You so much. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Great, so goodbye from Perth, and the sunset is done. See you soon. Bye.